Okay, so hi, my name is Donald McMorland and I'm just going to give you a quick look at some of the features and functions of an add-on we've been developing for Civil 3D. So the add-on is for the processing and drafting of river cross-section survey data. So it generates uh, river cross-sections, uh, river long sections. It Auto automates the labeling of those cross sections and long sections and generates a uh, text file inputs for uh, use in a number of uh, third party hydrologic uh, modeling software. So, in plan here, what I've got is my river central line alignment. I have a number of uh, sections that have been surveyed, so you can see my points here in plan, they're just normal civil 3D points, uh, and they come in through Fieldbook fieldbook file. Um, I've got a culvert here as well and just generally uh, a whole series of sections down along the reach. So what I'm going to do first is split all of those individual individually surveyed sections into their own point group. So that's the first command here, create section point group. Uh, so just click create and it creates a whole bunch of point groups over here in my tool space. So I'm just going to right click and update and the second thing I'm going to do is create a best fit line through each of those point groups in plan. So click on create section line, select all of the sections or point groups that I want to create for, click OK. So it's just giving me some warnings here telling me where there might be problems with the survey data. So it's telling me there's no left bank point found, no right bank and so on. Um, no section type point, so whether the section is open or a culvert or a bridge or what, whatever, so that the, their information that might not have been picked up on site that we may need to go edit later on. Okay, so there they've been created, so that's these red lines in plan. So next thing I need to do is create cross sections, so it uses those section lines, I'm going to select them all, and we can create different profiles here, so I'm going to create the existing ground, the water surface, the structures, and can, I don't have any silt in this example, but I'll just click create here. Okay, so it asks me to select my river center line alignment. Click OK. And um, bang in my sections here. Okay, so it's giving me a couple of more warnings. Just let me know that there's other points missing. The water level point missing for a number of sections. And there we go. So that's what it has created. Um, let me just look at a section. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now is once these have been created, so it's put in some information here for ISIS, a micro two hydrologic uh, analysis piece of software that um, this this program has been configured to, uh, to to generate the information for at the moment. Um, and also, so what we need to do next is we need to add the labels to the cross section. So the the, the surveyor for, for this type of work would need to pick up uh, any say flood defences, any trees, what type of ground, say on the, the river banks, the need to pick up the left bank and right bank, uh, might need to pick up any fences, walls, buildings, anything like that. So all of that information needs to be shown on the cross section. So very quickly just gonna go to add cross section labels and this just puts in a whole bunch of information it also down here in the bottom we've got feature names so it's going to suck in uh, the, the point description uh, from the surveyed points and populate all of that down here and similarly with the, the, all the, the labels and uh, blocks and everything's going to place up on, on the sections themselves come from uh, the, the codes in the survey points so I just, I'm just going to accept the defaults here click OK and just let it do its thing Okay, okay. so you can see here what it's done, brought in all of the, the feature names, we've got things like our left bank, right bank, um, what type of ground it was, and so on, and also up here on the cross section you see it's put in uh, labels to denote what type of ground or land we, we were on, uh, and also the left bank and right bank. So we also have say structure sections. So if I zoom in here, this might be a typical structure section. So uh, we've got our 
pirate pit, we've got a road, we've got um say the she looks like a top of a wall here, and then it's also brought in the culvert as well. Okay, so that's that's done that for all of the sections as well. Okay, so in later, uh, further videos, I'm going to look at how to edit the survey data. So some of those warnings that come up, um, where there was points missing, water level information, and so on. Um, I'm going to take a look at that in the in a future video. Thank you.